You don't need accompaniment. You can play perfectly complete <laughs> music all by yourself. Um, but it's, it's difficult. I think it's the most difficult thing to do on the instrument as well. In harmonizing melodies, it's very typical for guitar players to get so wrapped up in all the theory and the harmony and all the, like, the fancy stuff that we're trying to put in that all of a sudden the melody has not only taken a back seat, it's ready to fall out the back of the car. So Now again, you don't have to harmonize every single melody note. We play the D7, and that's the root to the actual major 7. Right? So it's just a, that would be called the lower neighbor tone, okay? You could go, and actually some of the fake book versions, if you look back to them, have D7, C sharp 7 in terms of harmony to use there. The last bar of the second line goes to the third of the G chord, fourth to the fifth. Now again, I could play harmonized versions of that. But it's not necessarily better, it's just a, a matter of how much of that do I want to add. And that's the part of it that you're trying to develop your judgment, your taste, what you think works well. The more you learn about the instrument, the more you learn about theory, the more you learn about harmony, the more you experience what a really strong arrangement is and how it comes across and how effective certain things can be. And you get excited about trying to use all of that stuff. We're playing a B note. We're harmonizing it with E7 flat 9, we got everything we need, and if we're playing solo guitar, we get the free E on the bottom for nothing. You're not going to do any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. I mean, there are many, many places that you'll get mileage out of all of this hard work that you're doing here. So if I'm improvising... So now I just use that 